<clears throat> I told you I'd be back, didn't I? Don't know what's going on! It is I! Unseen Strike, a nice 1 a.m. cast. Let's just jump right in. Oh, boy. Look. <laughs> oh, no! We are on Dead Peak. This is another map you don't see very often. Uh, I'm, I have high hopes for this 2v2. We're coming off of a fantastic 2v2. Uh, let's, let's pause the game. I don't think we've seen this map on the cast. So, square looking map. Crit location on the high ground in the middle. You can't go up on these little squares. Uh, you can go around the edges, though. The pathing's really tight. Not a very friendly vehicle map. Everybody's base is just to hop, skip, and jump away. Uh, yeah. Again, not a map you see often. We have Craft World, Alatok, making it stand. They heard the dirty <laughs> Necrons were here. We have, it looks like Alpha Legion coming out. <laughs> they're warshipping. They're getting whipped and beaten. Good for you guys. Building the chap uh, Chaos Armory. And the Sisters of Battle coming in here. Uh, for once, uh, the Sisters of Battle working with the Necrons. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what it is with the Sisters of Battle. We've talked about this before in all their lore. They always build chapels on Necron tombs and stuff. I don't know why. Uh, Eldar immediately going Dark Reapers. Boo! Don't do this. Uh, Chaos on the other hand. Getting a Chaos Space Marine Squad. Double Chaos Space Marine Squad. Okay, I'm interested. You sold me on the plan. I don't know what it is, but I want to be involved. Let me know. Sisters of Battle on the other hand. Sisters of Battle going into Battle Squad and a Cannonist into a Generator. And the Eldar again going Dark Reapers. I'd love to see a Ranger or a Farseer here. Double Dark Reapers. Very greedy. Okay. He's also deciding to capture the further away point and then have his Dark Reapers capture the closer one, which is interesting. Uh, we've seen this from time to time. Is it better to send your first squad to go to the nearest relic or anything like that? So let's see how we do here. Hope everybody's doing well this fine day today. Uh, I have some really good games coming down the pipe. Uh, this is the final game in this batch that I've been doing. Again, oh, it looks like he made that that generator cancel. Wow, really, really sloppy. Chaos Space Marines just slightly better than Sisters of Battle models. So they should win this, right? 28, 34, 20, 26. Yeah, that missionary evens the odds, though. I'm hearing a lot of screaming, though. Here comes the sec a second Chaos Space Marine squad. Is he queuing up grenades? What's his follow-up here? Dark Reaper's coming in as well. Oh, boy. Very rush-heavy map. And unfortunately for the Sisters of Battle player, the Necrons are not the faction to run to your aid. The Necron Lord is still about a minute or two away. Canonist is out now. She needs to save one of these Sisters of Battle squads. And the missionary is going for a cultist. And the Sisters of Battle did not capture this requisition point, so their ego is going to be hurting. Going for another power generator. Me on the back. Workers chilling out here. Guardians running along the flank. Let's see what they can do. And the Sisters of Battle being crumped hard, if our orcs would say. And here we go. There's a Sisters of Battle battle line here. But this is not where you need to be fighting chaos. We need to get you back home. You need to save yourself here. The Heldar capping up in the Sisters of Battle base. The LP gets upgraded here. This was smart. Cover the rear. And what's coming on over here? Eldar looking at the Necrons. They're hated foes. Not having it. Scarabs looking at Chaos building on their land. They're also not having it. Chaos Lord out now. These Necron Warriors are in the wrong base. What's going on here? Excuse me. You are in the wrong... Your Sisters of Battle allies need help. Another battle squad for the sisters coming out. Uh, I would have liked to have seen phosphor grenades, but I guess numbers are better than an upgrade. If he can clip down this guardian squad, he'll be back in it. He needs to keep as many models alive as possible. These dark reapers are very scary. Get away. Triple dark reapers. This is as disgusting as it gets. If you play Eldar like this, I don't like you. Sorry. It's just absolutely foul. Truly, truly foul. How does he follow up with this? I mean, it looks like this, these are clan members. Mad. And mad as well. Again, if you play with the same people enough over and over and over, you play a little bit different than the meta, but this is just disgusting. Look at this. What is this? Is Aren't you cold? Put some clothes on this poor man. God, goodness, give him some shoes. Oh, boy, this is not looking good. The sisters do have some numbers here. Uh, he needs to send the missionaries in, I think, is the move here. Wait for that Necron Lord. Where is the Necron Lord? Here he comes now. He got delayed. I think he switched it to build something else. Triple Necron War is coming. He's trying to keep these Eldar workers running around under control. Chaos did win the fight over here. There's the armory. Another generator. I'd love to see grenades. 
And this is the right move. A nice big melee. This is what I love to see. I'm going to stop talking so we can hear the melee noise. Turn my headset up. Really get into the juices here. This is the right move, by the way. Missionary is coming back to get into the melee. Cannon is here. We'll do fantastic. We need to tie up these Dark Reapers. Forget the Space Marines. And a uh, support platform going up in the middle of the melee. Necromor is coming over the ridge slowly but surely. Cannon is ripping through with her power sword. Support platform is up, firing point blank shuriken blasts into the sisters' backs. And again, this needed to happen maybe a minute sooner, this, this forced melee. Very messy, yes, but the Necrons are coming. Again, he, he, I guess he decided to go Necron Lord third. He needed to get this a little bit earlier. Sargant's up for chaos. But the Dark Reapers and the Shuriken platform are really laying it on thick. Necron Warriors waiting into the melee. It's the right thing to do here. Down goes another Dark Reaper power sword ripping through Eldar armor. Here comes the Chaos Lord with a plasma pistol. Not gonna lie, this is looking real grim, but with Necrons, you can do a lot with a little. Keeping that Chaos Lord tied up really smart. Let him waste his time. Where is the Necron Lord? He's gonna be the key to all this. Cannon is one of the last sisters standing. She's fleeing. Down she goes. Little flame is gonna be extinguished in all the snow. And now here comes the Necrons. They're not happy about any of this. They're a little overextended. I don't know where you're going, buddies. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, beep. Down they go. I've been reading that Necron book, Rain. Uh, I think it's called Rain of Two Kings. I think it is. I'm maybe halfway done with it. I'm actually enjoying it a lot. Um, it's been pretty cool reading a Necron book. I can't tell you the last time I've read anything about the Necrons. I, I want to say it was the um, the Kaido Sycharis book where he leads the second company on one of those Ultramarine planets. This is like like 10 years old at this point, one of the Space Marine battle novels. And the, uh, the Ultramarines uh, are fighting Necrons on, I forget the planet, it was like a snow planet, something like this. Eldar being ravaged by Necrons now, they're still in the game. Down goes two workers, that's not cheap, and these Dark Reapers are going to try and lay it on. They're still not upgraded, there's a chance these Necron Warriors can do good damage, especially with the Necron Warriors taking a lot of fire. All the kill and LP, I don't think this was worth it. Meanwhile, back on the Sisters of Battle side of the map, is real sad here. Rebuilt the barracks, trying to get back into the game. It's not over till it's over in these kinds of games. Space Marines, 1-1 one, one now in for the Necrons. The Necrons teleport back to their base. Now they can kind of mount a, a, a true defense here. 1-1 one, one Necron Warriors are pretty scary. It's to keep these sisters alive. Uh, I'd love to see them get a heavy bolter or two. Sisters laying down some fire. They need to make sure this monastery stays up. This is another cannon is coming. Nope, another battle squad. Oh boy, Sargans, Plasma Guns. This is looking real dicey for our, our Necron Sisters of Battle team. One lone Goss turret back here is not enough. I like the Wraith choices here. Eldar teching up to Tier 2. Chaos, is, it looks like it's been Tier 2 or is going Tier 2 now. Yup. Sisters of Battle have quite the army. They need to now go somewhere with it. This HQ is slowly being picked apart. And look at these Dark Reapers. Wraith Tomb coming in really nice, trying to just preserve as many Reapers as possible. Across the board, Wraiths ravaging through these Space Marines. Sargant will make short work of them if he gets a swing off of his power sword. Look at the amount of losses. Look at this. He's back in the game here. Okay, Necrons are pushing up this hill. Can they save the Sisters of Battle? I think they can do it. I'd love to see one more Wraith. Oh, there is. There's three Wraiths now. Good, good. Is this what needs to be happening? No! He was so close. Look at this, the Chaos Army is in shambles. He was so close. He's raised perfect. Oh, that support platform. That was really what did him in. That worker should have been prioritized. They probably didn't say, see it in the melee. I don't blame them. But look at this. Is the sisters still in it? They are. They've got an army. They've got a gen up. This is still a game. The support portal is coming, but the Necrons have double... Mo <laughs> double model and 
hands. This is still a game on our hands. Sisters coming back in to claim their land. They don't necessarily need us a, a chapel right now in HQ. They could just get more sisters out, try and deal some damage, and they need to come over here and beat down these Eldar right now. They need to stop this happening. All, all of whatever's going on here needs to be stopped. And they need to do it right now. Danger has found us. My music is a pillar upon which whole worlds have been built. We are taking down. The Wraith was kind of just eerily looking, and it killed them. Necrons teleported back to the side. The Reapers ran all the way away, and the, uh, the Necrons found them again. 1-1 one, one is done for these Necrons. The uh, Howling Banshee upgrade coming in. I think these Reapers already have their upgrades, so I would assume. Here we go. There's another Bolter line coming out. Get their LPs back. Uh, see this? This is Warhammer 40k. You see this? No one's giving up. Everybody's trying the damn hardest. Enough of this. Enough of this leaving after something goes wrong. Fight to the damn end, I swear. Ah! This is glorious. Look at this comeback. The Sisters of Battle angry. Let's see if they can pick up this Guardian Squad. It'll be a big win. Just anything you can get right now is huge. Uh, chaos across the board here. Getting a Rhino. That's going to help them out. We will not survive Wraiths coming out. This is a lot of Dark Reaper firepower. He's got to be really careful here with these Wraiths. Just kind of cloak them for the moment. Necrons now coming back. He needs to start picking off these Banshee models right now. Forget the Dark Reapers. Needs to pick the Banshees off. I don't think they're not taking damage. Oh, they're firing at the Exarch, it looks like. And, yeah, this Dark Eldar... Or, I'm sorry, this Chaos Battle Line's pretty scary. But, again, he's buying time for the Sisters of Battle. Just keep expanding a little bit. Now, the Harlequin's coming out a little scary. What does our Necron player do? He's getting his Necron Lord again. I'd love to see another turret up. Wraiths doing their thing. I'd love to see these Wraiths come in and try and pick these workers off for Chaos. Sisters of Battle caught in a bad spot. They need to go. They need to go. Not enough. You're not doing that well. You need to, you need to flee, sisters. You need to flee. You're not doing that good. I'd love to see a Necron building built over here. There's the HQ. So he can teleport over to help his ally. Grenade comes in. They're now stunned. Maybe not. They're just going to walk it off. The Emperor is strong with these sisters today. Does he get them in melee in time? Sad, sad end. Sorcerer is out now. Where is Necron Lord trying to be a pain in the butt? Necron army is coming. I'd love to see an immortal squad. Just one. Was that it? Is he queuing the immortal up now? No, more wraiths. Just one, just one immortal decap this point with one of your wraiths. Wraiths can do that, they just can't Incoming recap. There's the range DPS upgrade for the Eldar. Solar Flare goes off, and the Eldar in base. Wraith Tomb goes off on the Goss Terrace. So I'm saying you need a backup somewhere. And I, I think this is the first time they're seeing double monoliths. And even Wraith Tomb, the back monolith, is well, very interesting. Although nothing was being built out of it. I see the Chaos Space Marines embarking and re embarking. He's going to try and help his ally out right now. Looks like the Necron Warriors just came back to defend the homelands. And look at this Goss Hail. Harlequin coming in. Doesn't really do too much versus the shiny boys here. One generator goes down. Space Marines in the back line. Now this is where the damage is going to come. Plasma guns, heavy bolters. Really nice play from, from this Necron player doing so well with these wraiths. I like the teamwork from them, and again, he's got he's forced to keep going back here to stop the Sisters of Battle from expanding. And again, the Sisters of Battle player is still in this. HQ being rebuilt, almost done. Necron's also still in this. He needs to kill a few more Harlequins. He's kind of keep these numbers down on these Banshees. The Immortals are out. There's they came out with the wrong monolith, and now they're going to get melee. Which, funnily enough, Immortals do really well in melee really well. Wraith just got skill killed there. Love to see it. Power weapons on Banshees is nuts. Solar Flare goes off. Necron Warriors come out. Let's see if he can get him into some melee action here. Across the board, Dark Reaper's not happy about the Sisters of Battle expansion. Power Generator coming down. Victory countdown. Oh, oh, oh. The replay kind of died there for a second. What was that? Did you hear that? Anybody else hear that? Falcon here now, and I think this is GG. I, I don't think there's enough. Again, if this sister's a battle player, yeah, no. 
This was a this was a good game. I really thought for a minute there that they had it. I thought they had enough in their fuel tank. The the loss of that HQ really really big huge blow. If this turret didn't go down, I think that battle would have swung in a complete different direction, and we would have had we had another game back in our hands. I, I think they would have lived. Necron player played extremely well. I'm going to check. Maybe he was getting donated to be able to afford that second monolith. Um, that map is probably one of the better 2v2 maps out there. I know a lot of people don't like it. Let's take a look here. Uh, resources. No tribute. Who Necron's down here. How did he do? 5,000 power. That's a lot of power. Requisition gathered. This was, this was a pretty good game. This was a pretty good game. I like this 2v2 again. No quitting. That's what I like to see out here. This is what, if you listen, if you want to send me games, I want to see stuff like this. All right, fight to the end, the bitter end. Anyway, it's been I, Unseen Strike. Hope you all guys enjoyed this one. Uh, leave any comments down below how you feel about the game. If you, uh, again, I, I said in my last video, uh, I'm sorry about the Necron hate. Uh, it's not hate. Again, I like to bust balls. Um, I'm always just trying to push everybody to be a little better and learn from their mistakes. And uh, that's what we got to do out here. We got to do out here. Even I can improve. And uh, again, Dawn of War Stronghold Discord is down below this video. If you guys enjoyed that, uh, I hope to see you guys in there. And I will see you on the next one. Again, we're trying to get a video out every day. We're trying to get, uh, you know, YouTube shorts, the whole nine. Let me know what platform you think you'd like to see the shorts be on. There's one up now. That we're trying to get about three a week. Um, it's in video now, all right, Danish Balls? The Emperor's watching, all right? I want to see it. I want to see it. Godspeed on Z-Strike out.